Good morning, Benjamin. How are you? <laughs> How you doing? You wake? Okay, friends, I'm not showing you myself yet, but here's what I am showing you. I have a chicken that I got at the store a little bit ago. I had set it out to defrost. We're gonna cook this chicken in the Instant Pot. I'm actually gonna do it in a way where it makes a lot of good stock with it. Hey, Benjamin. It won't, it won't look like a rotisserie chicken. Mommy's gonna make a lot of good soup with it, okay? Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Okay, he's an arrested. Hopefully you all are still arrested too. I'm gonna cook up all the meat, make a bunch of stock, make a huge, fantastic pot of wholesome vegetable cabbage and chicken soup. Oh, 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 you put rubble in it. Did you get him? No. Oh, you got him, Benny. Okay, guys, stick with me. We're gonna get this um, chicken cooking in the Instant Pot now, get this soup a going. So I just put four cups of water in there. Now we're gonna get the chicken in it. Now, if you were doing more of like a rotisserie chicken, sorry, I see mm, all kinds of cooking adventures on my Instant Pot here. If you were doing a rotisserie chicken, you would use the rack at the bottom of your Instant Pot, do it a little different. But again, I want to cook the chicken and I wanna make a bunch of stock. And a lot of this chicken is gonna go in this huge pot of soup that I'm doing this weekend. You wanna get the, the neck and the giblets from the inside. This is a free range organic chicken that was raised and harvested here in the USA. I wish it would have been from the local farm we like to buy organic chickens from. They're pasture raised and we can drive by and see those chickens. See that they're having a good life. This one is from the store. Better than nothing, I'm just checking it out here. I don't think there's anything else. Now, it's always a debate on do you wash your chicken or not. I'm going to put this one straight into the Instant Pot, just like this. It says it is 5.73 pounds, which homegrown chickens are usually somewhere between four to six pounds or so. And actually, because I'm gonna make stock from this and then with the carcass we will make a whole bunch of bone broth. I think I will save all these little inside pieces. You can see the different, we got lungs, we got heart, we got the chicken Mom. neck. I'm gonna put these in a baggie and whenever we do our bone broth, which will be in addition to this, and let that cook a long time, we'll throw these pieces in with the carcass as well. So you can use all the parts of your chicken for different things. So there's our chicken in there with four cups of water. Gonna get some onions and carrots and celery, some other veggies to throw in there too. And I have a Misfits Market box here from this week. Got some celery in there. Yeah! Oh yeah, Benny. They usually have fruit at the bottom. We've got oranges. Got another butternut squash. If you're interested in Misfits Market having lots of fresh fruits and veggies delivered right to your door, first link in the description below will be for the, this has actually been cooking here. I'm going to go ahead and add another four cups of water and then looks like I'm chopping up celery and onion to throw in here to help make the stock. Don't think I have carrots anywhere right now. I will go check my outside refrigerators real quick though, but pretty sure no carrots. Here's all my celery pieces that are gonna go in. This is just, this is how I like to start my day. Do you all like to get up and start making a big pot of soup? I love it. So we just put a whole onion in there as well. A little homestead peek there. We got Liam outside on the bench with two of our boy goats. Those are Nigerian dwarf. That one loves to nap on Liam. So no carrots to be had. I'm gonna go ahead and put the lid on this. So usually it's somewhere between five and seven minutes per pound with the chicken. I'm gonna go for six minutes per pound. We will actually just put this right at 30 minutes here. It's on pressure cook. We're gonna walk away now. Our chicken and uh, stock there have long been done. This is what I have on hand to just throw into here. I'm gonna go ahead and use both cabbages. Let me say, doing my 20 plus quart big uh, stock pot here, so I love to just cram in all I can. Gonna try to get all this zucchini and squash in. Also, I'm gonna put in some crushed tomatoes some lentils, lentils and split peas. Now these I can just add right in and they'll cook with everything else. Gonna also put some barley in there. Uh, we're doing salt and pepper, got some Italian seasoning, basil, garlic powder, onion powder, and I will put some minced garlic in there. So now I'm gonna work with this chicken. Here's how things are looking with the lid off. Now this is not gonna be too incredibly graceful, but I do, thankfully, look at that nice 
nice big spoon. I can kind of scoop the whole chicken up with this here. I'm getting it in my big colander there. And since this is just boiling hot, I'm gonna let it sit here for just a few, for a few minutes to cool down. I'll work on chopping up all these vegetables, get everything in the pot, and then we'll peel that chicken. And this is about half a box of quick barley. For a pot this big, I would even put a whole box in. So there's all the chicken. I pulled it off the bones. I got in here just like some gristle pieces and some more bones, little odds and ends that were left. We're gonna do a good bone broth with this. But for right now, getting this in our soup pot was quite messy. I, could, I, I don't think I videoed any of it. So the other thing I'm going to do, we're going to add in a bunch of spices. I'm going to add in these three cans of diced tomatoes, crushed tomatoes, tomato puree. A little bit of everything, tomato-wise. I love tomatoes, so fine by me. Um, our bone broth that we're making over here probably will not be done um, to be put into this soup. Now, tomorrow, after I've done the bone broth and everything, I may add in more bone broth just to bring my soup back up some more. We'll, we'll see, who knows what I'll do. As I say, this, this is my freestyle soup. This is how I like to cook. Uh, but I will, I'm taking pictures, I'm taking some notes. If you all wanna try to give this a go, pretty close to how I'm doing it. Kind of a choose your own adventure novel here, ha ha. Then um, look over on the blog, largefamilytable.com, and I will have my steps for doing this. For my spices here, I'm just gonna do, I mean, really I would eyeball it, but I'll try to behave for you guys. I'm gonna do a tablespoon of each, and then we'll go by taste after that. This will not be too much of anything for this huge pot of soup. And two heaping tablespoons of minced garlic, you got it. Then I will do two teaspoons of salt and pepper. And then I'm gonna throw about four bay leaves in this big pot. And remember at the very bottom of this is the stock that we made in the Instant Pot with the chicken. We obviously need more liquid for soup. So still, still a bunch of room left, at least for my cooking. I'm going to take my pot and put it over on the stove before I can't carry it. And then I will haul a few big bowls of water over there and then we'll give it a good stir and then we'll let it cook on low to medium and I'll, I'll be checking on it and eyeballing it. This looks so good. All of this, this squash and this cabbage will cook down, but look at that. Mm, it's just one of my favorite things to make a big stock pot of all the available vegetables I have <laughs> that would work well in a soup, plus some kind of protein. Now Amelia was already asking, will it have noodles? Will it have noodles? Wasn't planning to put noodles in this one. Uh, something that you could do is just, you don't have to pre-cook it first or anything, but dump in like a pound of rice or two pounds of rice, just depending on the size of your pot. You know that's gonna double, triple in size, but I'm, I've been toying with the idea, do I wanna put rice in here? But I think I'm going to not do it. But we do have barley and we have little lentils and we have split peas in here. And yay, again, thank you to the viewer who sent me this amazing stirring spoon here because uh, I just use it all the time. I get asked about this massive pot often. Travis actually found this for me at Walmart many years ago, maybe four or so years ago now. It's also still available on Amazon. So this is always linked in the description of every video. And on my little push button stove, let's see, we got warm, we got low, we got three, two, and high. Hmm, there you go. I'm gonna get it on three to net for now to get everything cooking. Later, I will put it back on low and then warm at some point. I know my cutting board's messy, but I don't care. It's been chicken and vegetables. I'm gonna chop up two huge onions and do a couple tablespoons of garlic in here and a whole bunch of water. And we're gonna cook up this bone broth for several hours. I'm gonna cut the top here off of another big hunk of celery from my other Misfits Market box. So these veggies are just gonna be cooked 
with all those bones and they will be pretty much nothing by the time that we're done. Another way to do bone broth is to dump everything in a slow cooker for a day or two. Of course, check in your water and all of that along the way. I know some people do Instant Pot bro Bone Broth. It might be two hours. They might end up doing it two hours twice. And they have to reset their time. One friend I was talking to says she just does the bones first and then a little later, whenever she resets the time, she'll add her vegetables and then. I'm just adding mine in now. I figure it's just longer to, to make the broth up. Why not? And then I'm just doing do two big spoonfuls of minced garlic here. Thank goodness for this faucet. Just fill it up this way. And of course we won't really be filling it all the way to the top, but pretty close. Okay, so then we are just going to put this up as high as it'll go. I'm gonna choose four hours here because today is supposed to be my work day and here I am cooking, mm-hmm, you know it. So I'm gonna just choose four hours because that's about when I'll be coming out here for a break. Yeah, it's just manual high. Fantastic soup. I actually just got a bowl of it here. And I was gonna sneak back to my bedroom where I'm working today and eat this. Let me show you. I just shared some pictures on Instagram and I have to keep up with all my cooking and sharing. But there you go, it smells fantastic and I will show you what we're doing with it next. So it is evening two with that big stock pot of soup. We had it last night for dinner and then this evening, I just put it all back in the pot to warm it up again. Liam helped do some homemade garlic bread. We also had a cantaloupe that we cut up and some apple slices, so fruit along with it. So we got about a third left in there. So this I will just pack up. We'll probably have that for lunches tomorrow and by the fourth day lunchtime, it'll just, it'll be gone. On. It'll be gone. I won't even have any left to freeze. So everybody's really liked it. So if you would like to see my attempt to spell out the directions for this super mega pot of soup, click the first link in the description below. It'll take you over to largefamilytable.com and you can fill up on soup too. I'll see you real soon with another brand new video. Bye-bye.